with your neck? Oh, I, I haven't been feeling well, so I was just um checking my neck for a swollen glands. Do they look swollen to you? Well, dang. You didn't drink the tea I made you? No, I, I did. What, are you sick? No, I'm not. I'm not uh, well, sick. she's probably just a cold, but she had a fever last night. No, I didn't. You were <laughs> all flushed. When I got back from Capricorn, she was like beet red and burning hot. Well, then you probably shouldn't go to Aunt Dorian's today. Oh, come on, I have to go. Miss the reunion to end all reunions. But the Kramer women will understand, and I'm worried about you. I don't want you getting sick. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Go. Oh, what? Camellias. I, I, I should have ordered camellias. Dorian, I'm sure Cassie will forgive you. Oh, but I want Cassie to feel at home. It's the middle of February. You can't find camellias in Landview. But if, if camellias will, will make Cassie feel uh, like she's in Savannah, and if pâté de foie gras will make Adriana feel like she's in Paris... Did then... you order up some fog from London to, you know, celebrate Kelly? I just want all my girls to know how important they are to me. Okay, so, uh, where's my big band? <laughs> Girl, you are a one-woman big band. I love oh, you. I love you back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have great music, great food, a great time. This party's gonna rock. You bet. He'll you know, <laughs> say a lot of things about you, but definitely you know how to do it up right. I want my girls to know how important they are to me. Clearly. When you fired Bo and hired Stanley Lowell, we thought that you'd lost it. Mitch was threatening all of you. I know, but you double-crossed him and now he knows it. Right? Right. Right. And he's in a maximum security prison. But, Dorian, what about his followers? My girls are safe. All my girls are finally safe. She turned off the fasten seatbelt sign. Thought you liked a little bondage. Ooh, still waters run deep. Oh, since when did you turn into Margaret Thatcher? Hey, if you want to ruffle the sheets, be my oh. guest. I was just afraid that your Mr. Ula Lay. His name was Emil. I thought Emil was working for Mitch. <laughs> Hardly. And now I've lost him, thanks to Dorian. She was worried for nothing. You want a blanket, a pillow? Could you please get me some hot water? I have this tea my Aunt Daddy sent me. It's very calming. Sure thing, honey. Thanks. About what? About... I just feel like I've been so distant, and I'm so lucky to have you. I mean, you practically gave up your family for me, and you always want to take care of me, and you always worry about hey, hey, me. Hey, I, I really don't think you should go to this party. No, I have to go. It's important to Dorian. What happens if that fever comes back, huh? It won't. I promise I am so done with that. <laughs> well... Good, because I was kind of hoping we could find a little time and pick up where we left off. Can we talk about this later? Please? Sure. Uh, Lane, are you sure you're okay? Well, I hope that you're right, that we truly are all safe. <laughs> Mitch is in prison. He's no threat. But what about the followers? Those crazy people that would actually die for him. What if Mitch left orders that if something happened to him just to kill everybody in sight? You know something? You are really killing the party mood. Well, I'm just saying here. It's... Would you like to make yourself useful? What? Oh, please, call the airport and check and see if the girls' flights are on time. <laughs> please? Pretty please? <sighs> You are unbelievable. Oh. Mm -hmm. What the hell 
was that? Just a little turbulence. No cause for concern. <sighs> turbulence? I feel like we hit something. Or something hit us. <gasps> what kind of tea is that? I have no idea. <laughs> but my Aunt Addie swears by it. It's guaranteed to cure whatever ails you. Because the apartment's tiny and we're all on top of each other doesn't mean we need to be in everybody's business. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. No, you, you didn't. Don't you have to be at work? Well, my shift's not until 20 minutes. Okay, I'm out of here. Um, I'll see you after class. Start talking. What do you mean? You are so hiding something, and I want to know what it is. I... I got some bad news. What? Well, Kelly and Adriana's flight is on time, but Cassie's is delayed. Why, did they say? Do they ever say? That is so funny, because I called a half hour ago, and they said that her flight was... Right on schedule. I wonder what could have happened. If I could have your attention, passengers, is there a doctor on board? Not hiding anything. Yes, you are. Just because I don't want to talk about my sex life does not mean I'm hiding something. First off, we always talk about that stuff. And the walls are sort of thin, so it's hard to not know what's going on. Yeah, well, P.S. the thin wall is not one of my favorite features. Wait, Langston, are you pregnant? What? No, no, I'm not pregnant. Oh my God, do you have some type of horrible STD? How would I have an STD? I'm with Marco, just Marco. Right, and you know that Marco would never, ever cheat, right? Are you sure you're not sick? I'm not sick and I'm not pregnant. Okay, then what is it? You can tell me, you know that you can trust me. I know. And you've been acting weird lately. Don't tell me that you haven't because Marco's realized it too. It's just... I don't know what I'm feeling or why I'm feeling it because I shouldn't. I have everything. I know that I do. It's just I feel so, so guilty. About what? About... About not being the person that... I'm supposed to be. Langston, you are wonderful. No. No, I'm not. Okay, is this about the meeting with Guidance last week? No. Because you are definitely getting into LU whether you finish that musical on time or not. You need to call Ford. Why? Because he's an expert, and he said that he would help you. Plus, he asked about you last night, where you were. What do you mean? He was working the door at Capricorn, and your name was on the list, but you weren't there. So, yes, where you were. Why, why did he do that? I don't know, because he was checking our names at the door. The point is, is that you need to call him. Wait, no, what did you tell him? I told him that you were here babysitting Hope. And he saw you and Cole and Marco? Yes, he was checking our names. I have to go. You have to go where? Just tell Dory and I'll see her later. Langston, what is going on with you? What's up with her? I know what's wrong.